create a fantastic RNLI lifeboat to set sail and save lives at sea. So how difficult could this be? It says that this build a boat kit is for ages five and up. So hopefully I will be able to do this. Now we picked this kit up while we were at the RNLI in South End earlier this year. And while we were there, we also picked up a motor for the boat. Um, so we're going to put it all together and try to see if it will sail. So let's open up our little kit. Now it comes with 14 lifeboat pieces, an activity sheet and an instructions sheet. Okay, so at least there are instructions. Looks a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh dear. Do you think I'll be able to do this, Paul? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm like when it comes to putting stuff together, I get very frustrated. Right, now I did say there were instructions. So let's see, here we are. How to build an RNLI lifeboat. And it seems to be back to front. Oh, here we go. Number one, start by making the people and boat to go on board your lifeboat. Well, there's people as well. Okay, number one, start. Fold the boat into shape. Right. You think that's this? It says lifeboat on it. Oh dear. What am I supposed to do with this? It's not a complete disaster, is it? I don't know what... Oh, is that meant to be like a... Okay. I think these other bits are optional extras. I, do I really need people on it and lifeboats and uh, life boys and things? Do you need that other bit? Well, that's a, a cannon or something. Oh, really? Do you need right. this? No, I don't know what that is. Oh, actually, let's have a look. Well, I think, I think we might have something here. Okay, so watch this. This is my propeller. No. Where are you going to stick it? <laughs> That's a good question. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, let's go and see if I can float my boat. Right, so that's a moment of truth. We're going to see if my lovely boat will sail. So I'm going to get the propeller going that. Now Paul, we've only got one chance of this. Will it sink or swim? Oh no. Come on. With a bit of help. I can't stop. <laughs> I blame the propeller. Isn't it moving somewhat? Come on. 
that's the maybe it's just too close. Just don't look at my finger. Oh look! Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Not to be outdone, I wanted to see if I could make anything float and sail. So I thought, oh, what about a plastic bottle? So I've attached my propeller to the plastic bottle. We'll turn it on. Let's see what happens. Oh, it works. Kind of. Veering off to one side now. <laughs> Is it going around the circle? Yeah. Something. Oh wow, it works. Are you happy now? Yeah. Look at that. Amazing. So not a complete disaster after all. I might not have been able to build a boat, but I was able to float a bottle. <laughs> Thank you for watching our show today. If you like what you see, then please like, comment and subscribe. Keep watching. are at the Casa Arabi, which was originally set up as a school for impoverished children. And today it is an open space where anyone can go in and take a look around. Who said Santa wasn't here? Don't attract her attention, please. No, I won't. I can remember the last time we did that in London. Were we here? No, no. In London, we approached we approached Mickey Mouse, and then couldn't get rid of him. Wasn't that near Chinatown? Yeah, he wouldn't leave us alone. Oh no! I think he wanted money or something. You know what they're like. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a Toy uh, Story what guy is that? coming. Oh, gosh. This is quite frightening. It is. I think if you had too much to drink, uh, that would really freak you out. I am feeling rather dehydrated, so I think our next stop is going to be a little bar. Okay, fine by me. Paul, what is this? We are at Plaza de la Villa. Well, this seems to be quite a grand building behind us. What is it? Hmm. Is it a museum? Is it a palace? Maybe it's a church of some sort. This is a landmark called Plaza de la Villa. Yes, we know that from the sign, but what is it? Uh, small and intimate typical plaza just off the plaza. Okay, well, yes, we know that. It's just a typical plaza. Of the this is plaza a historic Mayor. center of Madrid between Cala 
Well, I don't know. There's like lots of things that people okay. say. Okay, so it advisor. looks as though it's just a nice little square. So can Isn't we that just, good enough? Can we just accept that and move on? Look, Cole, there's the bear again. This is the bear again. Well, we're not taking the metro today, but it will get you anywhere in the city or around Madrid, especially if you want to avoid some noisy people outside. <laughs>